Yeah, someone sent me a poem um, that I thought was very inspiring. It's a poem uh, by a man named Richard Hendrick, who's uh, in Ireland, called Lockdown. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of the family around them. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that, yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be the disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Today, breathe. Listen behind the factory noises of your panic. The birds are singing again. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul. And though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. That's locked out.